A very serious three-man safe-cracking crew grab big money tonight. Their crime spree comes to a screeching halt. Good to have you with us at 6. There aren't many crime sprees that get the attention of this many levels of law enforcement. Well, the Violent Crimes Task Force, the FBI, Michigan State Police, and Detroit Police, they were all looking for these thieves, and tonight the operation is shut down. Let's get to our business editor, Rod Maloney. He's live downtown with a story you'll see only on Local 4. Rod, clearly these robberies were carefully planned. Oh, they were very carefully planned, Carmen. These guys were smart, ingenious, really. They were very professional, too. Now, take a look at this. This is PVC pipe. We fashioned it into a T, okay? What these guys did was take actual steel and make a battering ram out of it, connect it to the front of a pickup truck, and then drive this right into the door of a fast food restaurant. This is what it looked like on the other end of the battering ram. The store's back door jamming all shoved in, the thieves running right in and then go straight to the safe. There they plug in a grinding wheel and open that safe. Now this would take more than a few minutes and the sparks were flying the whole time. Detroit police say these guys hit more than 20 different fast food restaurants and an athletic shoe store. Charged in the first case and in federal custody right now is this man, Darren Terry Abbott of Detroit, a well-known felon arraigned weeks ago, along with one other man identified as Simone Sloan Dorsey. Both charged with breaking and entering to commit larceny, conspiracy, possession of burglary tools, and unlawfully driving away a vehicle from a crime, basically auto theft. In all, they had nearly $1 million in cash and stolen items. Detroit Deputy Police Chief Steve Dolan says breaking this case was huge for everyone. The more you hit businesses, they have to raise their prices and because their insurance goes up or whatever. Because we did this, um, people feel safer at the business. The owners say, you know what, I could probably invest more in the city. Now you may recall back in March, the DPD lined up a parade of tow trucks filled with stolen vehicles outside a Detroit chop shop. In the raid, they towed away 80 vehicles, including cars, trucks, snowmobiles, professional lawnmowers. And here's a picture of some of them on a flatbed car hauler. DPD says this is where they did their business, selling what they stole. Now the FBI, in serving the search warrant in that raid, was able to get some guns and some drugs, so they're also being held on those charges. In fact, uh, the, the one person there that we showed you is in federal custody as a result of that. Now, there are 20 other cases that have been sent to the prosecutor's office on top of the one that these guys are charged with, and the Kim Worthy is going through them with a fine-tooth comb, but Deputy Chief Dolan says they think they've got these guys and they've got them solid, so they're just waiting for the rest of those charges to be brought. At least they think that's what's going to happen. In the meantime, uh, one of the things that, uh, that has happened here is that uh, the police department is saying they have really made a major dent and that these crimes have stopped now because there's one guy still out there that they're looking for, but they say he has gone quiet. Back to you. Well, you could see they knew exactly what they were doing and how they wanted to do it, but it wasn't just money and cars that they were after. Well, it was, it was, yeah, they were after a whole bunch of different things. And here's an interesting thing that they got, Carmen, and it was a car. It was a 1940s antique car. Plus, they also had a, a Corvette that was stolen from the Dream Whoa. Cruise about five years ago. They don't know how they got that one either, but they're chasing all of this down. The, the records in this thing is going to be just miles long yeah. before they're finished. All right. Our Rod Maloney reporting for us live.